Hi, this is Terry with the Covered Chipboard, and this is just a quick little video to show you how to use our SVG files in Cricut Design Space. So, once you purchase a uh, an SVG design from our shop on the Covered Chipboard, then you will get a download link. You click on that download link, and it will download to your hard drive or your desktop. You need to probably best to save it to your desktop that way it's easy quick access. Once that downloads what you'll find is a zip file and if you double click the zip file it will open up the file and um, that from that point you need to open that file and you'll find all your SVG files inside Typically, you'll also find a preview of what the product finished product looks like. You might find a written tutorial in a PDF form and our terms of use. Um, and then from that point, we need to load these SVG files into Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to close that window and come over here. Let me lower this a little bit and move this over just a bit. There we go. So I've started with a new file. I'm going to go to upload, upload image, browse, and I'm going to search on my desktop for the file that I just downloaded and unzipped. And that was right here and in this folder and now you can see all of these files which are SVG files. Now if there's a JPEG file sometimes you might want to upload that um, because it might help you with placement of pieces. Um, some of these I've made as like a print and cut and I'll show you that example. This is actually for our February quilt block which will be coming out pretty soon. But here's the main SVG file. So I'm going to click on that and click open. And I can give it a name. If I need to change the name, just click in here and start typing. If I want to put a tag for searching, I can do that. I can type in quilt block. And then I want to click save. Now that it's located here, I can click on it and click insert images and now you can see here's all the pieces to the quilt block. Now I mentioned that JPEG file. I'm going to upload that as well so I want to go back to upload, upload image, browse and I'm going to select this JPEG file. Now some of our files are print and cut files and those will be in the form of a ping, a PNG, or a JPEG and you would upload those in the same way. So I'm going to click open and I'm going to get choices simple, moderately complex, or complex. Anything that isn't a black and white image you should choose complex. Click continue. I don't need to make any changes or clear out any white areas in this one. If you did want to clear out white areas, say maybe there's a flower in the center here with a bunch of white space. If there is, you would click on this and click on the white space and it will remove it like that. I don't want to do that for this file so I'm going to undo. Once you finish that, you click continue and you have two choices. Save as a print then cut image or save as a cut image. In this case, I want this as a print and cut image. If it were um, maybe say like a little flower with no background and I just wanted to cut it out of solid cardstock then I would choose save as cut image but you can see what that does like this quilt block now is just a big black square you can change the image name if you want and you can add tags to it if you want but I'm going to save it as a print and cut image and you can tell you have the right selection chosen when you see this green border around the edge of the block See how now this one has the green and now this one has it. So once you've got everything set and you want to save it, click save. And 
may sometimes take a little bit longer to save. Okay, now I'm going to click on that and insert image. And it's going to come up really big. There's no way that this is this size. So um, in for projects like this, you would have in the um, PDF tutorial or somewhere within that file uh, information on how to size it. So these need to be 4.875, I believe it was. And I'm going to hit Enter. And that's all we would do to size that. So there you go. That lets you know how to bring all your images in for SVGs to cut them with Cricut. You can see it's set for cut over here. So at this point, I want to save it as and then give it a name and save. So now the project is saved. If I go to my projects, you can see that it's been saved and I can use it anytime I want to. So that's all there is to it. Hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with me. You can get in touch with me through Facebook or my blog, either one. Have a great day. Bye.